I had applied to MTech RA in the Electrical Engineering Department at IIT Bombay. I received interview calls from two labs and one project. In this video, I'll be sharing my test and interview experience at the System Administration Lab, also called as SysAd Lab or PC Lab, which is a lab in the Electrical Engineering Department. Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Varun and I'm currently pursuing my MTech from IIT Bombay. Uh, at IIT Bombay, there are two types of RA positions, the Project RA and the Institute RA. RA at SysAd Lab comes under the Institute RA category. Let me give you a short introduction on SysAd Lab and the type of work they do. SysAd Lab has the responsibility of maintaining the mailing and computational servers of the Electrical Engineering Department. It also ensures proper functioning of the Electrical Engineering website and also maintains the network infrastructure of the department. It is a team of RAs that provide tech support to the electrical engineering department. This team is divided into two groups depending on their responsibility. First one is the server team and second one is the web team. Now let's come to the test and interview part. So every year, SysAd Lab has a requirement of 5 MTech RAs. Before the interview, there was a test conducted on hacker rank to shortlist students. Let me give you some details about the online test. The test had 10 questions, all of which were on programming. Out of the 10 questions, 3 questions were on getting the correct output using any programming language. 3 questions were on bash scripting. 2 questions were on designing a web page which were based on HTML and CSS. One question was on MySQL and the last question was on PHP. I would say that the test had a mix of moderate to easy questions. We were given around 8 hours to complete the test and we were also allowed to refer any online resources. I was able to solve 5 out of the 10 questions which got me shortlisted for the interview. The interview was taken by senior lab RAs and a professor. They started the interview by asking about my interests. They ask questions like, do you know what are the responsibilities of the SysAd lab? Which team you would like to join, web team or server team? Then based on your answers and your interest, they ask further questions. I told them that I am interested in server team. So they asked me questions on bash scripting and on Linux commands. I was not able to answer all the questions, but I answered as much as I could. The interview lasted for around 15 to 20 minutes. Uh, in the fifth round of CYB portal, I got an admission offer for MTech RA at SysAd Lab, which I accepted. Now let me give you some tips which would help you to clear the test and the interview. In the test, there were around 10 questions, but it was not important to solve all of them. Even if you could solve 4 to 5 questions, you were shortlisted for the interviews. They had given us around 8 hours, which is a lot of time to complete the test and we were also allowed to refer online resources. They basically check your ability to search and find answers given sufficient time. I would advise you guys to go through basic bash scripting, basic Linux commands and also practice programming questions on hacker rank. This will help you in clearing the test. In the interview, it is fine if you could not answer all the questions. Be clear on why you want to join that particular lab and which team you would like to join. It is best to go through the lab webpage to get more details about the lab. It is fine if you don't know several concepts and be frank about things that you don't know. Even I knew very basic bash scripting and very little about Linux. During the interview, they are assessing your ability to pick things up as you go. Uh, they check if you are a responsible individual and you will not back down from your work, then your chances of getting selected are much higher. So that is the end of the video. I hope you got to know more about the interview process for Institute RA. If you have any further questions, then please let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.